Hey guys, I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be doing a weekend recap, show you a few projects, and give you a little peek at Antique Acres. Stick around. Prepping for Antique Acres has been a complete blur. I cannot believe it is Monday. Uh, this is a project that I did complete on Friday night and Saturday morning. So I ended up painting it little black dress and then putting a transfer on the front. And unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of that video footage. Uh, but then these two have been sitting in my stash a while ago. I saw this beautiful table sitting on the uh, curbside. Unfortunately, the top was ruined, but I took the legs off and I'm going to create two round tables there. Now, this weekend, I did pick this chair. My mom called me up and said, oh my gosh, there are two East Lake chairs in the garbage. I really think you can do something with them and I can't pass up a good chair, uh, especially Eastlake. So I dropped everything on Saturday, ran and found this one. It's a rocking chair. And then the other one is just a regular chair. And the person must have been wanting to recover them. So at first I was just going to paint them up and leave them as is and put them in the sale that way. And then I came up with an idea. I was going to feature all the new cottage colors on the chair. So what I did is I painted the base, um, the gray, and oh my gosh, this paint is so smooth. I love it. And I cannot wait um, to show you the finished project. But I basically did one and a half coats. Um, ba basically one. And then as I it was drying very quickly, I ended up just touching up here and there where there was a, a couple brush strokes. But really no brush strokes, just smooth as can be finish and I love all the colors so my vision for both of the chairs is I was going to do um, basically several boards on each and each board was going to be painted one of the cottage colors so here is the finished project uh, with it painted the gray. And oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love with this gray color. It has a little bit of a, like a lavender hue to it, but it's just so soft and I can really, it's just soothing. And after I finished this chair, Honestly, I wanted to keep it for myself. I uh, I actually rocked in it because I was like, okay, I'm putting all these boards across. Is it going to be comfortable? And honestly, it is so comfy. And here is the finished product. I love how it features all the different colors. And that was what I was going to go for so that anybody coming to Antique Acres this weekend could see all the beautiful colors that are in the new DIY cottage color line. So with all of that, I also finished this beautiful dresser. This dresser I had gotten from an in-law and it was covered in stickers on all three sides. It took me about an hour and a half to remove those, but I think it turned out beautiful. Now, Monday morning, I woke up and a friend had texted me and said, there's a table in the garbage. Do you need one? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Because the table that I want to refinish is buried in my stash. So I went over and checked it out and it had really good bones, but the top was pretty trashed. So with very little effort, uh, I sanded the whole entire top and then I applied a uh, uh, two coats of stain. I am using uh, this Verathene uh, stain and it is one of my favorites. I used it on my own buffet and like I said I did two coats and then I'm going to apply a clear coat. My goal is to get this finished uh, today along with the four chairs that go with it. So here is with one coat and um, like I said, the base is really good. The top was just a little rough. 
And so what I plan on doing is painting an apothecary. A while ago, I had these four chairs that I picked out of the garbage. Those currently have one coat of apothecary. I do have to paint a second one and are just like a touch up and then clear coat it. And then that will be heading over to Antique Acres tonight. So then I had to stop everything and head over to Antique Acres. I already had a load full of stuff. Um, prior to going there, though, I do fulfill all my orders from the weekend. Uh, so I headed on over to the post office. I uh, am so thankful for everyone that places all the orders through me for IOD and DIY. Thank you again. So here is Antique Acres. She has an official sign right at the roadside. And when you pull up, you are going to see this super long driveway. Uh, the barn is right there. And I am so sorry for the terrible footage. I was in my husband's truck and he actually was up north all weekend. And there were quite a few bugs on the way home. So, uh, but anyways, this is the long driveway. And this is where everyone lines up uh, open when we open up on Friday and Saturday morning. So here I'm going around the back entrance and you come around and then you see that big beautiful barn. Uh, this was a barn that was built by the Amish and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we can walk through the big beautiful doors and there you have it. I mean the whole barn is absolutely gorgeous and there is my spot to the right. I feel like there's not a lot in, um, but here's just a peek of what I have brought so far. So there's that green hutch that I redid and just a lot of smalls. So that was my main focus is to get as much when I bring a big item, I bring as many smalls as I possibly can at the same time. And I wish that, honestly, I had a, a little bit bigger hutch, but I think the whole space is going to come together perfect. So I'm going to show you a few projects that I'm currently working on. Now, this would have been to get done much sooner, uh, but I had quite a few issues. First of all, there was a shelf there and I wanted to put, or there was like actually two drawers and I wanted to put two shelves. Unfortunately, I couldn't get those little metal knobs out for the shelves to slide into, so I couldn't lay an actual shelf. So I had to cut that out and I made two openings. Uh, for second, the top on this was very rough. So I did do decoupage on there. And then third, <laughs> I had all the drawers all ready and one of the handles broke in half. I didn't even, I don't even know what happened. I went to put it on and it just snapped in half. So now I have to come up with something for handles for the bottom drawer. I'm going to just make that a more unique piece, but until I find handles, this is what it looks like so far. And it was like a really hideous brown and I painted it little black dress and I think it's going to turn out awesome. Uh, with this headboard and footboard, I am going to throw together a really cool bench and I think I'm going to paint it dark skies from the cottage colors. I'm trying to decide. So we're back to these. <laughs> Honestly, I painted them white. I didn't like them. Um, then I painted them black and I decided I didn't like that either. So what I'm going to do is paint white over it and I'm going to shabby it back so that the black comes out. So this is the top for those two black bottoms and I am going to use the Paint Inlay Paradise and we are going to have these beautiful birds on the top. Now many of you have already seen me uh, do a Paint Inlay and typically when I do the Paint Inlays I've been doing just like one sheet. So I'm going to show you how to line it all up. 
so the key I think with do, using the paint inlays is you want enough paint but not too thick so just a nice even layer of paint and when you are working with multiple sheets you want to work one sheet at a time you don't want to because uh, the uh, chalk style or clay style paints do dry pretty quick uh, so you don't want a lot of paint as well all over um, it just gets it will get too messy so paint the area that you want to lay your inlay and like I said just a really nice even layer and then once you have that even layer, then you can lay down your first sheet. And with that, when you lay it down, I start on one edge and I just work my way down. And I kind of rub with my hand just to smooth out any of the wrinkles and, you know, that may happen. Um, so I just lay it down just like that and then like I said I just take my hand and then I start smoothing it out and I don't um, like I, I lift that side just so that all the wrinkles and air bubbles get out and after that then what I will do is I will come back with a damp rig and uh, with my spray bottle and I mist the whole sheet and then I take my damp rig and I just rub it all in and I had used the brayer on the last one um, but I the with the rag it really um, I think it got it really well too with the wet rag so um, here I am misting it really well. At first I just take my hand, then I grab that rag and I start using the rag with it. Uh, the one thing too is you do want to make sure that your edges are really nice and smooth. And that's the key uh, to lining everything up, that those edges are really nice and smooth and even. Um, it just makes laying the next sheet down that much easier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a little bit faster mode for you just to watch um, as I do the, the rest of the secondary sheet. So this whole weekend was really a blur. I felt like I was a squirrel chasing after nuts or looking for nuts because I literally was, okay, I need to price that, and I would price. And then I'm like, oh, I need to paint that, and then I would paint it. And then, oh, I have to go pick some stuff out of the garbage. Or did I really have to do that? <laughs> I don't think so. And then I was coming up with different ideas. I was building stuff. I still have more stuff to build. I'm continuing to pick. I, I think I have a problem. But anyways, I um, have a lot that I do want to yet accomplish and uh, today my main goal is to get that table and chairs all completely done um, to get those two little end tables done and um, the nice thing too is that the nights are staying lighter longer so I'm able to get a lot more done um, each evening and um, I'm hoping to get a lot of projects completed and then drop them all off tomorrow here is the inlay completely laid down. I am letting it dry. Once it's dry, I just missed it and I pull it back. I can't wait to show you guys the finished project in Friday's video. So this video honestly was kind of all over the board and that's kind of how I felt all weekend long. Uh, Friday's video is going to be the showing you the entire setup um, of the booth and then uh, give you a full tour of the entire Antique Acres. So I hope, look forward to seeing you guys Friday. I have lots to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little crazy, you know, all over like I said. I wanted... I just, I was so busy that I didn't get a lot of video footage. It takes a lot of time to do that and my mind was overwhelmed. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you Friday. Bye.